Travel systems can be really handy in the first year of your baby's life. In fact, so many parents say they're an absolute essential. If you're not sure what a travel system is, I don't blame you. This stuff can be really confusing. It's basically a push chair that you can attach a carry cot or a car seat to. Simple. In our mission to find the best travel system out there, we spoke to experts, local NCT groups and Mumsnet users before putting 15 different prams to the test. Each product was tested with a seven month old baby and scored on six key areas. Safety and stability, assembly, day-to-day -day use, aesthetics, cleanliness and value for money. We've awarded the Nuna Mix, the Mumsnet Best Travel System 2019. Quite simply, it's style and comfort rolled into one. It offers plenty of room for a newborn and a toddler, and it has a huge sunshade and storage basket. Suitable from birth to around age four, the Nuna Mix can be used with a carry cot or a car seat, and it comes in a selection of four different colors. Negatives? Well, it's a bit bulky, and we do wish that the carry cot and car seat came as part of the standard Nuna package, but overall, it's really comfy and an absolute dream to push. To start off with, let's look at the carry cot and the car seat. I love how simple it is to attach the car seat to the pushchair frame, especially if my daughter falls asleep in the car and I don't want to wake her. It's also a big bonus to be able to attach a carry cot so that my daughter can have a nap. It feels very sturdy, but I do feel like a bigger baby would outgrow it quickly. But it's the main pushchair bit that you will get the most use out of, and I tell you what, it is a really comfy ride. It'll nip around sharp corners so smoothly you won't even bat an eyelid. And the handle can be adjusted for different heights, which is really helpful if you have someone in the family who's over six foot. The rear wheels are nice and big, well, massive actually, and the suspension means that you'll barely even notice going up and down the curbs. But while the Nuna doesn't bill itself as a pushchair meant for loads of off-roading, it does handle bumpy terrain and grass really well. The brake is also really easy to access. It can be flicked on and off with your foot, even with sandals on, which in my opinion is a huge win. One thing I think parents will really like about the Nuna is that it offers a lot more storage than a lot of the other travel systems we tested. I honestly don't understand the concept of buying a pram that doesn't offer a lot of storage, especially if you're shelling out for a pricey one. Take note, manufacturers. It even has a handy zip pocket where you can put your phone or any other valuables that you might want to tuck away. What I also really love about this push chair is how roomy and versatile the main seat is. It can be easily switched between parent and forward facing and it has a number of recline options which means it's suitable for newborns even without a carry cot. The straps are really easy to adjust and there's a five point harness that is secure and quick to release. And let's not forget the covers can be removed and chucked into the washing machine which would definitely be music to most parents ears. Seriously, who makes non-washable baby products? When it comes to packing the Nuna away, it's really simple, although you'll definitely need two hands. All you need to do is lower the bumper bar at the front, lift the catch at the back of the chair to fold the seat forward, and then press the two buttons on the handle to lift the whole frame and push it forward, and the latch at the bottom will automatically go into place. It's also pretty easy to unfold the Nuna. All you need to do is release the catch at the bottom so that you can lift the handle until it clicks into place. Recline the seat backwards and then lift the bumper bar. You can also fold the Nuna down with the seat in the rear facing position, although it does feel a little bit bigger if you fold it down in this way. While the Nuna is easy to fold, it's not as compact as it could be, which might make storing it at home a bit of a pain. And also you might need to remove the wheels if you're packing it into a small car boot. If you're worried about size or have a lot of stairs to contend with every day, this may not be the push chair for you. You might want to check out a lightweight buggy such as the Baby Zen or the Maxi Cozy Leica instead. A few other things I really like about this travel system are the cooling mesh panels, the leather finish and the cozy foot muff, which give this push chair a really luxurious feel. And I think parents will appreciate the peekaboo window that can be pinned back easily with hidden magnets. But one of the absolute best features is the huge extendable hood. Look at it, it is massive. Overall, the Nuna Mix 2019 is a solid all-rounder. The basic push chair costs £450 and it comes with the rain cover, the foot muff and the car seat adapters. 
but if you want to buy it with the carry cot and the car seat, you will usually be able to find a deal for around £700. It's not cheap, but it should last you a long time. And while it's not as compact as we might like it to be, there are a whole host of other things that make the Nuna Mix 2019 a really great buy. For more travel system reviews, head over to mumsnet.com forward slash reviews and don't forget to subscribe.